Now to breaking news in the northwest suburbs. An intense manhunt underway for a murder suspect in Lake Barrington. Our Sarah Maki is live in Lake Barrington with the breaking details. Sarah. Yeah, that's right, guys. We just got an update from officials here on scene since we last talked to you 30 minutes ago. A lot has already changed. They say that they've been searching out here with canines and with drones, and they had a state police plane on the way. We believe that is overhead right now. They tell us that out here they have recovered two firearms, one in the gas station bathroom that's very close to this scene, and one was found by a canine here. But as this manhunt continues, they say that everyone should assume that their suspect is armed and is dangerous. So I want to give you a look at that man that they are looking for right now. Police tell us that he is 38 year old Osceola Little. Investigators telling us that he is a suspect in a Chicago murder case, although they couldn't give us any more information about what case that might be. They did share that photo coming from surveillance cameras at a nearby building to our area right here. Officials saying that Little and a female passenger ran from Chicago police at that building near Route 14 and Pepper. A very confusing situation unfolding out here. Officials saying that female passenger initially tried to blend in with other onlookers out here, but she is now in custody and being questioned. With Little still on the run, this manhunt has prompted lockdowns at several Barrington schools. Some students were dismissed and taken home on their regular routes, but ones close to here were held at school until their parents could get them. Obviously, this is a concerning situation for uh, parents who have kids that are exiting school uh, when school closures are happening and dismissing for the day. We have been in communication with those schools. They established their safety protocols to make sure kids can get out safe. Little was last seen wearing a white shirt and some blue shorts. And again, although police found some firearms, they say he should still be considered armed and dangerous. Live today, Sarah Maki, CBS News, Chicago. Thanks, Sarah.